Hi, I'm going to show you how to do file transfer using SCP uh, to an UpMax cluster called Rackham, but it works on older clusters as well. Um, this is part of the UpMax intro course day one. Um, that course has already has had one section to use uh, visual tools, uh, log in via a remote desktop and use FileZilla to transfer files. But now we're going to do the same thing, all those things using a terminal. And we've already logged in using SSH. We've already used the terminal to, to navigate through the file system, uh, do some file management like uh, copying files and so on, using a text editor. And now we're going to transfer files using SCP, which is short for secure copy. What I'll be doing is I'm not going to explain everything that's going here. I'm going to walk you through the exercise. Um, apparently there's only one exercise, so that will be short. And we'll be using the UpMax documentation. So I already open it in a separate tab. Search the procedure on how to transfer files to from Rackham using SCP. I'm just going to copy paste this. And then let's see if it, if I get it on the first hit. This is using transit. Not, I don't want transit. There. Data transfer to from Rackham using SCP. Yeah, that seems good. Uh, I guess I found it. So it says it's Rackham file transfer using SCP. Is that correct? Rackham file transfer using SCP. So the URL is the same. Copy a file from your local computer to your Rackham home folder. Verify that this worked. Well, let's first take a look at the procedure and then I'll do it. Start the terminal on your local computer. Sure. I can do that, and then copy the files using SCP, and then if I'll give you a max password, sure. So I start a terminal on my local computer. Um, you can see there's no Rackham here. This is my computer. Make it a bit bigger. There. This is my computer, and if I do LS, I see what I have in my local computer. And I'm going to create a file called um, send me to rackham.txt there and now I have this file send me to rackham on my local computer. This is not rackham, this is my local computer. Uh, I've done that and now I need to do scp from 2. So this will be the file I just created and this 2 will be more complex. Ah, this is how you copy a file from your computer to rackham. So that's this thing here and to do that, all right, so I need some username, Rackham, I can copy paste this, copy paste this, and I'm going to modify it. So I called the file I want to send, send me to Rackham, send me to Rackham. My UpMax username is Richel, Rackham.upmax, and I want to send it to my home folder. So this should be it. Why right, password, I know that one. There, it's sent. Let's take a look if we've actually sent this by going to Rackham using SSH. You can also use the remote desktop, but I'm going to use um, SSH. Richel at rackham.upmax.uu.se. So it's called send me to Rackham. So I'm now logging into Rackham. And there the file is. So you see I'm on the Rackham login node, the third Rackham login node. This is my file. I'm going to re rename that file, move send me to Rackham, to send me back. There. Um, and I'm going to probably copy this back to my local computer. All right, so I have done the first exercise. And now we need to do the other way around. Let's take a look at the documentation. It is simply the other way around. Well, do I have it somewhere here? I use just this. You should have a bit slash send me back dot text. And I want to send it here. The dot means here. Password. And if I do ls, it will be here. Send me back. There it is. So I've just done this exercise. So what I've done, I've made, I've transferred files using SCP 
and this is part of the IntroTurp Max Day 1. I wish you a very good day. Bye!